Oh, do. Hope you're having a banging Halloween and all that. And all the creepy pastas that go with it. Happy Halloween, basically. Yeah, uh, I should lay off this good shit. Have I got something to mix it with? Yeah, limited edition. Official Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Movie partner, Afterlife. Apple Zero Sugar, yeah, Michael Keaton. I've never actually watched the sequel, but right, on with the... Yeah, uh, should I have this on instead or? You know, it would be yours truly. Right, hopefully, uh, yeah, I hope the camera's got me okay. Yeah, I need to upgrade. I, uh, yeah, Halloween ontologies, ontologies, how do you pronounce them? Collection of a uh, horror stories, Halloween themed, etc. So I just thought, like, to get into the spirit, I kind of watched a few the past few days etc and yeah i'll uh i'll get on with it then shall i trick or treat as in they're horror movies but yeah like the creep show you know you, you, you know what i mean do you yeah uh this came out in i think 2007 or six it's got a few uh like well-known actors in there uh, yeah Look there, Brian Cox and who's that guy? Uh, the Halloween Grinch and the psychotic Principal Prickly and uh, Trick or Treat is A Prank Goes Wrong and A Coven of uh, Princesses, but they're not quite princesses if that makes any sense. Yeah, check this out. It's uh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, yeah, as I say, like it's. Weighted 15 in this country, so. Tales of Halloween, yeah, uh, love this one. It's very, it's very uh, quirky, quite funny, a bit, bit dark and demented, and yeah, I like them that way. Just, uh, if you can just see that. Is that, uh, picking it up, I cannot tell from here. Slip cover as well. I'm trying to get it back into the slip cover, but it's there we go. Bad candy. Yeah, this is quite a, a modern release, obviously, because you can see that the new kind of age rating logo there. It's uh, yeah, BBFC, bloody wankers. The true late night fans, ontology. Yeah, why am I waiting? <laughs> yeah, it's quite it's some very. Some scenes are quite engrossing, so uh, if it's released in this country, I don't think it's that too much for the faint-hearted, but yeah, yeah, we're all of our levels of tolerance, don't we? or whatever it is. Holidays. This isn't exactly in particularly about Halloween. It's just, well, uh, Kevin Smith wrote the segment uh, story on the Halloween one, and Seth Green's in there. In the Christmas one, so it's just about like various times of the year, yeah, holidays, Easter, Mother's Day, yeah, that was a creepy one. St. Patrick's Day was my favourite, and yeah, it's worth checking out. It's uh, Seth Green's in there, and Kevin Smith were a part of it, so. and yeah, East, yeah, the yeah the Easter Bunny's in there, kind of. Yes. Uh, in a uh, respect for Terrifier 3, being in the movies, uh, yeah, Art the Clown. It's played by a different actor now, but yeah, All Hallows' Eve. Uh, one of the uh, star, uh, star Wars isn't exactly about him. But it's just like, yeah, this is where it all began, you know, Art the Clown made a first appearance. What year did this come out? It was uh, 2010 something, I, I don't know. Oh, 2016, so. Yeah, well, I've heard a lot about Terrifier 3. Uh, I don't know whether to watch it at the movies or just wait until I get it on. Yeah, I've got the first two anyway. I mean, maybe I'll get them in a box set and just give the other two away. Yeah, because who don't like collecting box sets? And to finish off, this is, I mean, I might have a few ontologies. I just didn't uh, realise I had. So, yeah, I, I want to keep this brief, so. That's just them there. And yeah, yeah, I just thought I'd just throw this in. 
Yeah, we all want to listen to Sally. Yeah. Frankenstein goth type girl. Or <laughs> yeah. Just threw this in there for, you know, a good laugh, you know, a good. <laughs> yeah. That's the older, uh, that's the older age waiting. Like, I think that was kind of released that in the early 2000s and 90s when DVDs were first uh, in the scenes market that is right and that's me uh i hope i got myself in all right and uh yeah have a spooky one if you can go out to some party and have a few few of these just just, just don't don't get carried away well if you're having a night in and watching whatever horror will it it's shit then have a blast